now we are doing question number 14 question number 14 so the question says if the mth term of an ap be if the mth term of an ap be 1 by n and the nth term and the nth term be 1 by m then so that then so that mnth term is 1 mnth term is 1 solution so if the mth term of an ap be 1 by n so given we have am is equal to 1 by n and an is equal to 1 by m so we can write am is equal to a plus m minus 1 d is equal to 1 by n and an is equal to a plus n minus 1 d is equal to 1 by m okay so the first one and the second one so now for solving equation number one and two let me write down this one equation number one and equation number two so solving or subtracting equation number two from one subtracting i don't know whether subtracting spelling is correct or not equation number two from one we have so equation number two from one so write down a plus m minus one d a plus m minus one d is equal to one by n and a plus n minus one d is equal to one by m so if you subtract this will be minus this will also be minus and this will also be minus so a minus a it is zero m minus one d and n minus one d so write down m minus one d minus n minus one d okay is equal to one by n minus one by m one by n minus one by m so let me take the next page we have got m minus 1 d n minus 1 d take d common so from here m minus 1 d so take if you take d common m minus 1 and another is minus n minus 1 so minus n minus into minus plus so n plus 1 is equal to this side 1 by n minus 1 by m so 1 by n minus 1 by m so d m minus n minus 1 plus 1 cancel so m minus n is equal to if you do this one you just multiply do cross multiply m into 1 m minus n into 1 n divided by you multiply both m into n so mn will be m n okay so d is equal to m minus n by m n and this one will come and divide here that is m minus n which we can cancel with the numerator so therefore d is equal to 1 by m n so therefore d is equal to 1 by m n so let me write down this as, as equation number 3 now putting equation number 3 putting equation number 3 in equation number one okay equation number one is this one let me put here equation number three so a plus m minus one d a plus m minus one d is one by m n is equal to one by n is equal to one by n so a we need to find the value of a so is equal to or let me first solve a plus m into one by m n will be m divided by m n minus 1 into 1 by m n will be 1 by m n is equal to 1 by n 
So A plus M, M cancel. So 1 by N minus 1 by M, N is equal to 1 by N. So let me write down here so that it will be easy to see. So A is equal to take everything that side. So 1 by N minus 1 by N. This minus 1 by N goes that side. It will become minus 1 by N. And minus 1 by MN will become plus 1 by M n so 1 by n 1 by n cancel so 1 by m n so a is equal to 1 by m n okay so we have got the value of a and d okay so what the question is asking asking us so that m nth term is 1 so now a m n we need to find out okay let me take the next page so that a m now a m n is equal to a plus m n minus 1 d we know the value of a and d so a value is 1 by m n and d also 1 by m n so instead of a put 1 by m n plus m n minus 1 d also 1 by m n so 1 by m n plus mn into 1 by mn will be 1 minus into 1 by mn will be minus 1 by mn mn and mn 1 by mn and 1 by mn cancel and it is 1 okay so the, uh, so which is equal to the right hand side the book is asking so therefore hence proved okay the book is asking us to show that a mn is equal to 1 and we have shown so therefore it is hence proof what what we did we just found out the value of a and d and after that we substituted in a m n and we got like this thank you so much we will meet in the next video